launching audio also became the model for launching video uh, last year, which was uh, the far the scariest thing I've done because video is also an order of magnitude more difficult to do and do well. Um, uh, so we, I, again, we recruited some experts, brought them in, uh, built a tent of infrastructure, which I won't bore you with, uh, but it's really hard, and um, started producing a video on the site, which you can see, you not see. with video, as with all, all, all the multimedia as well, is, and it comes back to this issue of quality as well. Um, that piece of video is a piece of Guardian journalism. We expect it to hit a certain, certain standard. It's not something that's bolted on the side. It's not something that's additional or not treated particularly seriously. It's Guardian journalism. It gets embedded in the front page when it's good enough to be there. Um, same, as, same as audio. Um, and we are encouraging journalists more and more and getting a response from them as well to view multimedia and blogs as just being another piece of the toolkit. This is something that, something they can cool out. All this means, I mean, if you look at, if you, I'm sure you all read the, the trade press and um, possibly at the moment with some concern. You know, like yesterday we heard, or earlier in the week we heard an independence from about 60 journalists. Um, the Johnston Press, one of the largest regional newspaper groups, uh, and a place where in better times actually some of you might reasonably expect to be employed here, I hope to get a job when you leave here. Um, <coughs> its share price was more than two pounds inside the last year, it's now seven pence. And there's an extraordinary kind of tide of trouble washing through the business. Uh, and then you know, Johnson Press and a dreadful mess. They own, they own a big, you know, big titles, including the Scotsman, where I, the Scotsman publications where I, where I started out. Um, you're seeing um, ITV basically withdraw or look to try and withdraw from. Regional TV news. Um, you, you see, you're seeing this cascade of problems through the business, and it, it may look like quite dark times. But actually, the op the opportunities for journalists who are engaged, who are um, who are able to, or who are capable of thinking in in the way that we, we're trying to encourage, which is to view all these media as being possibilities. Um, who have the who are really really good journalists first and foremost, but can think in you know think in innovative ways and. Uh, think about new ways to tell stories and um, reach out to an audience, which has actually never been bigger, let's not forget. More people are reading Guardian journalism now than ever have in, in history. Um, then the opportunity there is absolutely extraordinary. And um, you hear all some naysayers saying, yes, but where's the business model? Well, the business model's there. The Guard Gu Guardian Unlimited, uh, Guardian Co. UK, is when they're rebranded, um, makes uh, millions and millions of pounds each year in revenues. The trouble at the moment is the cost model which exists for a large portion of traditional journalism, which um, is very heavy and which I think will cause the coming um, and rather unpleasant shift that's going to take place where a lot of news organisations become much smaller, especially those who, who haven't invested in building some viable um, websites. So um, I would say for you, I think most of you are graduating in 2010, is that correct? Good timing, really good timing. Because um, any, any third years here? No, good. Good, good. Because uh, I think next <laughs> coming out next summer is going to be tricky. But I think I think the whole of next year is going to be uh, difficult as <coughs> news organisations uh, realign themselves and really work out how to organise the staffs, how to um, make more money online, how to re engage with users in a better way. Um, the truth of the matter is that we are learning. That portion of what we do is quite unpopular and no one's really looking at it. So lots of organisations are trying to work out what the popular bits are, what the reason is for them existing and building in those and trying to build new businesses in the back of all that. So I think by the time you are graduating with all your skills and all your knowledge and your enthusiasm, um, there will be a huge demand for people who can show that they, they, they're thinking about this kind of stuff, that are looking to move journalism on. And um, the opportunity to do that is right now over the next few years. We're in a position where really we can, we can redefine what journalism is. And that, that, that's why I think, uh, despite everything that's going on in the world, this is possibly one of the most exciting times to be a journalist uh, in a very, very long time. <laughs>